Hello. Now what's been going on in the world recently, you may ask? Well, there's a lot of war going on. There are 110 conflicts around the world at present, but I think we'll deal with the one which I believe is the most important to us, and that is one in Europe, where um, obviously Ukraine, well, there was the heavy drone strike on Odessa by Russia, which has been reported, and Russia is claiming to have intercepted 38 drones in Crimea. Uh, Zelensky claims 31,000 military casualties so far in the war in Ukraine. Uh, I'm not sure if I... I mean, I would take that with a pinch of salt, the same as anything I would from Putin's mouth concerning the war in Ukraine. I, when it comes to war, it is a good idea to um, not trust a word either side says. Okay. Um, there's currently seven armed conflicts in Europe, believe it or not. Uh, there's the ongoing thing in Ukraine, along with Russia's occupation of Crimea and Russia's occupation of Transnistria, Moldova, as well as South Ossetia and Abakazi in Georgia. And also Armenia is occupying parts of Nagorno-Karabakh um, and the Azerbaijanis are um, causing Armenians to be fleeing from their homes due to that armed conflict and I've already mentioned in Ukraine. Uh, now the, there's the one that everybody has been talking about uh, and that is uh, the one in Gaza. Now it looks like Israel has bombed a load of civilians queuing up for aid. If this is the case, then I am against that as much as I am what Hamas did on October the 8th. This cannot be justified in any way, basically. Uh, I do not believe Netanyahu's methods to sort out Hamas and free the hostages are the correct methods and I do and I believe that he won't change because he's doing what he has always done ever since he's um, been in power when it comes to this so that is his natural reaction uh, Israel needs a change of government so that Hamas can be defeated because they need to be defeated and the hostages are released. Um, why we are, why everybody is so obsessed with this uh, conflict in Gaza is a mystery because, well, in the Middle East there are 45 wars at present. The muddled east, there are 45 armed conflicts. Uh, Egypt are fighting Islamists in Sinai. This explains why they won't open the Rafa crossing. Um, and Iraq are fighting ISIS still. That's two of them. And we know about the one in Gaza. There's another 42, which I'm really not going to go into at the moment. Uh, where are we? Yeah. Now, you've seen the post, the um, London get turned in 1930s Germany every Saturday for a while. And uh, Rishi Sunak has made a speech against extremism. Uh, now, successive governments have let the extremists in and increase in number. 
I mean, we have the extremists who are Islamists. We also have the extremists who are leftists. Uh, basically, it's those who believe in collectivism rather than individualism. One wants a global Marxist government and the other one wants a global caliphate. So basically, that th th this is where it's at. I, they actually want a global government, but actually they disagree what this global government should be like. And this is why there seems to be this kind of odd alliance between the woke and Islamists. It's about wanting a world government with the, their collectivist ideologies. Um, and there's extremists on both sides of that. Uh, the left immediately after his Sunak's speech on against extremism start talking about the far right. So far at present, the far right aren't around. But if if this extremism from the left and um, Islamists isn't nipped in the bud, there could be a reaction. So it needs to be dealt with. But at the moment, we seem to have a uh, a parliament full of people who are utterly bloody spineless. Uh, now, concerning Islamism, uh, yeah, right. Is what what have Islamists been up to around the world in the last few weeks? Well, last Sunday, uh, the Islamists entered a church in Burkina Faso with submachine guns, killed 15 people and left about another 15 wounded. Uh, they then killed another 12 uh, people in Patazi province of Nigeria. Um, in the Eastern Congo, a Islamist group raided a Christian village and in Ethiopia four monks were murdered. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, where are we? Yeah, uh, th that's what Islamists are being up to. Uh, what are the uh, communists being up to? There is a government clamp down in China against both Christians and Muslims. Um, the um, Islam, Muslim imams are being arrested while in Hong Kong. The Anglican and Roman Catholics are being pressured to join the government controlled, one of the government controlled state churches. Um, and basically, at present, they couldn't care less. The Chinese government couldn't care less. What the UK or US says, because basically, at the moment in the West, we have such weak leadership. Um, now back back to Africa. Um, at one time, we we gave weapons to fight Islamists in Uganda, but now there is not none because of Uganda's anti-gay law. So, ridiculously, the US foreign policy is being based on domestic policy. Um, what can I say? Now, obviously, uh, Christians being slaughtered around the world is of no concern to uh, our so-called state church, the C of E. Um, but um, uh, they have declared themselves institutionally 
racist this week by advertising a job. The job is for an anti-racism practice officer, in brackets, deconstructing whiteness, West Midlands Regional Racial Justice Initiative. Uh, this post um, has uh, 36,000 uh, salary, um, and it says, who are, are we and what are we about? Um, I don't think the C of E knows what on earth it's about anymore. I mean, most of us don't care anymore. They ask, are you passionate about racial justice in the church and committed to eliminating racism? You see, now this is, um, as the church is Christ's body on earth and Christ overturned the tables in the temple because they, they, they were holding a market in the court of the Gentiles, denying the Gentiles their place within God's house and called them a den of robbers. We have a good idea what Christ thinks about racism and, and as the church is his body, calling the church racist is in fact calling Christ racist and I consider that bloody well insulting. Anyway, do you want to use your skills to challenge, encourage, enable understanding and effect change that where it is needed? If you're excited to join a team appointed to be a catalyst for the promotion of racial justice and the elimination of racism in the West Midlands Church of England Diocese, read on. Well, I'm not going to read on. You see, now, they, they seem to be forgetting um, something fundamental here, you see, because in early on, if you read the uh, good book, it says that God said, let us make man in our own image. Therefore, all people are made in the image of God. Um, and to actually be putting it across, to deconstruct whiteness and to actually claim that uh, everybody else is oppressed and we are all privileged is actually saying that not everybody is made in his image. So they're actually wrong there for a start. But it goes further than that. Because St. Paul said in Galatians 3, 28 to 29, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Therefore, basically, in the church, all are equal, and if we <laughs> by actually all are one in Christ, they're actually saying that there's racism uh, within their organisation. What they are actually saying, according to the book, is that their organisation is not in Christ. And if their organisation is not in Christ, then it is no way a church. Because there is neither Jew nor Gentile, slave nor free, male or female, all are one in Christ Jesus. And that's and those who are in Christ Jesus are the church. And if they are saying that there's racism and inequality in their organisation, they are declaring that their organisation is not part of the one holy Catholic apostolic church and is in fact something else. What they think it is, who knows? They are obviously not giving to Caesar what is Caesar's and giving to God what is God's. You see, they don't see that they are the money with God's image on them. Let us make man in our own image. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, give to God what is God's. So there is absolutely no... It, it's basically um, the same message... His Majesty gave the Pharisees about uh, paying taxes to Caesar sticks to them also. 36,000 a year. Hmm. Don't put anything in the collection plate. This is the kind of stuff they spend it on. Wars, rumours of wars. Being slaughtered, 
uh, people claiming to be Christians, um, uh, preaching and coming out with utter crap. Um, well, the Lord did tell us about these times. Um, Maranatha, Lord, come quickly. Peace be with you all.